How's it going, guys? This is Forensic Forks with Deontay, and I'm back with another video. This is episode 45 to the Asian Session Library, once again with the pair US dollar versus Japanese yen. On Thursday, March 21st, 2024, we had a successful Asian Session model. Let's walk through it together. As always, this first time period that we see here, that is going to be our New York lunch. Very simple. We are not permitted to trade here. This time period is from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. New York Eastern Standard Time. We are, however, looking to trade during the Asian session, hence why it's called the Asian model. So it's Asian kill zone, and that's from 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. We're trying to frame liquidity pools here to find an opportunity to go long or short here. How do we do that? We look for our 15-minute swing highs and swing lows that are not rated. So here, you can see this is a 15-minute swing high. So we're going to use this as buy side liquidity pool. I'm going to mark off the rest of those relatively equal highs or relatively equal liquidity pools here. So we can't take we can't take this one because it's already been broken. So we would have to take this one. So that's a very crucial thing. You can't take the ones that are already broken before going into 8 p.m. Now 8 p.m. starts and you can see that 15 minute candle here runs that sell side liquidity pool below that swing low so we've rated sell side going into 8 p.m opening session we like to mark off the opening price as always this is the asian open so this is asian open anything above that price point it's going to be a premium anything below that price point is going to be a discount the fact that price opens and drops all the way down takes out this swing low we're now oversold we're in a discount we would be more likely to look for longs. It's ideal to look for longs, especially with the sequence of rating sell side liquidity and now being in a discount. At this point, I'd like to move from the 15 minute time frame and go down to the one minute time frame. So this is my entry time frame. I'm looking for a fair value gap that runs a swing point and that swing point is inside the fair value gap. So it has to be a swing high. Let's play it forward, see what we get. And we stalk, right? If we're watching it live, we're just stalking this on the one minute. We keep watching. We keep watching. And then there we go. Right here is when the entry technique forms. We have a fair value gap. But it's not just any fair value gap. It's a fair value gap that has a swing point inside of it. Now, it doesn't have to be two, three, four. It just needs one swing point inside the fair value gap. That swing point two cannot be at the starting pip level or the ending pip level of that fair value gap. It needs to be in between. So we have the entry technique there. What I would look to do is go for a one-to-one -one scenario. 15 pips for 15 pips. And that's our entry technique. I like to see that our projection or our TP gets us back up to at least the Asian opening price there now we have the buy side liquidity pool because that could also be the draw we have multiple buy side liquidity pools so everything that we drew on the 15 minute time frame you're seeing it here on the one minute you can see how they're relatively equal highs or they're double tops or just areas of clean levels where the market is most likely going to rate that's that sell side liquidity pool that we rated here then the entry technique forms we're going long on the first tap of that fair value gap the premium side of the fair value gap so waiting for that long and we wait there now we're in long and we'll just play it forward just to show how the rest of the session plays out and we can see tp hits immediately and all of the 15 minutes buy side liquidity pools that we framed were hit at set point and if you play it all the way through let's say what happens at the end so definitely pay the trader and if you get the opportunity to get more than 15 pips try to use a trailing stop and we can see in this opportunity here in this example, that trailing stop would have gotten knocked out for sure. So after getting the, the 15 pips, if you would have had a trailing stop underneath any of these swing lows, price came back down. So you can see ultimately the Asian session is consolidation. It did give a large run to the upside and then a large run back to the downside. That's its natural nature. We know that. But we're trying to take a little portion out of the Asian session and pay ourselves every single time. We're not trying to take the entire run or the entire session. We're just trying to take a little portion out of the cake, piece of the cake, and we're happy with that. Notice as well, it was a simple 
purge on sell side, revert on buy side. It's a very consistent model, very similar thing that we've seen time and time again. Nobody should be, oh my gosh, I can't believe it did that. We know the exact sequence in the exact line work of it printing this specific entry technique. Yes, there might have been other entry ideas, but me specifically, I'm always referring to just this entry. Now, I know many of you guys who watch like episode one or like episode two or all the way to like episode 10. I'm not sure when I started to change the entry idea, but the first entry idea was the first fair value gap that formed to the upside after breaking that liquidity pool. And the first fair value gap that I see was here. That's the first fair value gap that forms. And we can also see that it was feasible. It does trade back down into it and then it trades higher. So not to say this is not an entry idea that you can't take, but it's the one that I am less likely looking for now. I'm more likely looking at this. I do see this all the time. It's not that I'm oblivious to it. I see it every single time. Breaks the swing point, the swing low in the 15 minute time frame, south side taken, and then the very first fair value gap that trades to the upside, right? A busy in definition, a buy side imbalance, a sell side inefficiency, the very first busy that forms, the very first fair value gap to the upside that forms was my old entry technique. And you can see here, it still stands pretty solid and it runs higher. In this example, we can see the max reward before price started coming back down during the actual Asian session was 35 pips. And I believe as price continues to trade on, I believe it runs that stop. So yeah, so definitely pay the trader. But as you can see, nothing has changed. We went from, from the beginning of the video, what did we do? We were like this. We took out sell side. And then we had buy side available up there. And that's exactly what we went up to. Same thing that repeats. Keep it simple. All you need is one trading model. Peace.